Yes, good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday and welcome to another session of ASAP or Alliance Success Achievement Program together with me, one of your international trainer of this company, Ras Guillera. Okay, you can call me uh, Ewa, Belema, Ingo, Sina, na, uh, whatever name you call me, my dear friends, as long as you have questions concerning our company, I will address that immediately. So now, my dear friends, uh, let's start inviting our friends and sharing this presentation in order for us to share the good news and the blessing that the company has shared and given us for so many years. Yes, my dear leader. So before I start, let me begin by by acknowledging and recognizing the leaders who are currently watching us right now let me start with mr ogb olemeforo from onicha how are you sir are you there in uh onicha right now or maybe you're having a presentation because he is one of our global ambassador millionaire circle and top earner of this company my dear friends and if you go to onicha or anambra state he will always invite you to attend his presentations and whenever he has program he has massive programs with hundreds or thousands of people so i'm missing you guys there how are you there ma'am lusaya and sambaya okay very nice landon quizera here we are thank you for being here sir and we also have Erasma lacanaria good morning watching from brunei uh, i hope everyone can hear me very well and I hope my video is clear on your side as well. Banji Orimolade says, good morning with the heart. Okay, Era Sakura is here with us from Brunei. So without further ado, let's start our ASAP. So what is the essence of this training? Why is it that it's so important that we must attend Alliance Success Achievement Program? My dear leaders, this is a very important training. It's because this is where we're going to talk about the importance of why you need to attend a training just like this. And at the same time, we are going to talk about the steps towards your success. It's because success is a process. It's a journey. There's a path, my dear friends, that we must undergo in order for us to become successful in any career that we are taking. It's not something that we think that we want to be successful and immediately we're going to become one okay even though it's good to be true however my dear friends let's face facts that in order for us to reach the top then we must go through the first level the second level the third level the fourth level until such time we reach the level that we want to reach so the next thing we are also going to talk about this industry because we heard a lot of misconceptions a lot of bad words criticizing our company now what makes this kind of in industry the best how is it that this kind of career can change your life for the better and last but not the least we're talking about the company itself there's a lot of company out there why in global why ed plan economy designer 3.0 why empowered consumerism okay why choose ovi so now if you're ready type it there at the comment section below i am ready i am ready okay <laughs> so now let's get started my dear friends and let me start with the word training okay so now i know some of you since a lot of leaders are watching me always and inviting a lot of people uh, they already know the content of this training. However, every time we're having a presentation like this, there are new information that we are adding up that you can also share and you can also use during your own business meetings. Now, what is training? Training, my dear friends, in act is an acquisition of knowledge, skills, competencies as a result of teaching. Okay. Now, let me tell you this, training that we need to have here is different from the training that we commonly have in school. Because in school, what we need to do is for us to sit, to listen, to answer examination, and once you pass, then you can graduate. However, in business, my dear friends, doing things like that is not enough. Okay, let me say the word again. It's not enough. It's good. It helps you to be knowledgeable, be informed. It helps you to acquire the skills however those things that you are doing before is not enough for you to educate yourself to master this craft why 
Because after attending the trainings, after listening, after digesting what you have heard, you really need to go outside. You really need to take action in order for you to produce the result that you wanted to achieve. Okay, that is the difference. Because here, action is equals to result. So if you did bad actions, you're also going to get bad results. If you're going to create good actions, you're also going to get good results. Now, how are you going to get these good actions to produce good results? That's the reason why we need you to attend trainings that Alliance in Motion Global or Ed Plan 3.0 is giving you. Because the trainings that you are attending, okay, on some profession, on some career, is different. It's different from what we are offering right now. So now, my dear leaders, I want you to be serious. I want you to listen. And I want you to put at least one and a half hour of your time to just learn how good this industry is, how wonderful this company is, and how important it is that you need to listen okay, to me, to your upline, to the person who invited you, and to the person who are already achieving success in this business. Okay, how are you, Ma'am Olabode Esther uh, from Abuja? Okay, how are you all there? So if you are together with me, if you are still listening, send me a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts, a lot of care emojis. Okay, so what is the goal of this training? Very simple. We want you to improve. That is the word. Type it there at the comment section below. Improve. I want you to improve your capability, your capacity, your productivity, and performance. Why only improve? It's because some of us has already the knowledge, has already the skills. What we just need to do is for us to hone ourselves. Okay. So that is where we're going to discuss the importance of training. Because according here, if you are always attending trainings, you are building your foundation, it can help you to build your backbone in this business. It's just like an axe, my dear leaders. An axe has a hard time cutting a tree or a wood if it's not sharpened. So if you want to cut the tree very fast, successfully, in an easy manner, then what you need to do is to take your time to sharpen your axe. Same goes for us. You want to get people to say yes to your business. You want them to join you. Then you need to hone yourself. How? Do you need the same, you know, do you need the same device? Do you need the same techniques for you to sharpen the axe? What we need to do in order for us to achieve at to achieve that is for us to attend trainings, not only ASAP, not only Ed Plan, not only NDO, but a lot of trainings. Trainings that you can find in our company, in YouTube, in Facebook, as long as the training is related to your business, it can help you guys. And again, it's not enough. You need to try it. You need to take action because as you do the action, you are going to get learnings out of the experience that you're going to get as you did that particular task, okay? We are funding ourselves by doing that. And that is how we are sharpening our own skills and knowledge in this business. And at the same time, this particular sharpening act, this is something that can help us to build our backbone. So what is the backbone? In human body, my dear friends, that is something that is in our back. We call that spine, my dear friends. Now, that particular spine helps us to stand, helps us to walk, helps us to sit, helps us to do all of the activities that we've been doing normally. Now, just imagine, my dear friends, if your backbone is injured, you get into an accident, or maybe you are sick. Did you know that you will find hard to even sit up, to even stand up? That is how important your backbone is. The difference of your backbone in your body into your business is this. The backbone in our body is inborn. Okay, that is inborn. We already have it. A God-given gift to us. That's the reason why we can do all of the activities that we are enjoying. However, in the business, we need to build that. How to build that? Then you need to feed your mind with a lot of information that can make you grow. You need to take action. You need to work. You need to talk to people. You need to read. Okay? So those are the things that we must do. I know it's kind of difficult whenever I say things that you need to do this, you need to do that. However, at first, it seems very difficult. But as 
it becomes a habit, believe you me, it will become something very simple that it becomes part of your lifestyle. Do you agree with me? If you agree with me, my dear friends, send me a lot of thumbs up, send me a lot of hearts. I know some of you will say, ah, I think the training is kind of late for today. But let me tell you guys, it's not. <laughs> okay. our, our ASAP really is going to start at this time, 11 a.m. Okay. So the next thing, of course, if you're able to build your backbone. It can also help you to build your confidence. Why? It's because, my dear friends, if you just imagine doing the business without anything, without anything, without any skills, without any knowledge, without any proper devices, uh, as you do all of the tasks necessary for you to get results, definitely your confidence will be very low. So how are we going to gain our confidence? Again, build ourselves. You need to sharpen your acts. You need to sharpen your skills. One good thing, your skills and your knowledge can be acquired. It can be improved. You just need to develop it, my dear leaders. It's just like, you know, it's just like a building. This building that you're seeing right now. Uh, it has a lot of levels. It has a lot of stories. However, what we can see is just the things that is right in front of us. We're not seeing the foundation, how deep they dig before they created a structure just like this, a building so tall that even though there's an earthquake, it will not easily break down. It will not collapse. Why? It's because the foundation they built before they created the first level, the second level, up to the 50th or the 100th level, my dear friends, is, you know, they created a foundation so deep, my dear leaders, that even there's, you know, an intensity of six <laughs> earthquake, it will not easily collapse. That's what, uh, that is the benefits of having a great foundation and that foundation we are getting it by improving ourselves by attending a lot of trainings so i hope that when your offline says to you that you need to attend training you need to listen to them you need to follow them they are not just telling you that simply because they don't have time to teach you no they are telling you that because all of us experience that all of that all of all of those things we did that, okay? And we realized the benefits and the advantages of doing so. Now, do it, my dear friends. And once you attend training, put your 100% focus on that one. Because whenever you are not listening, you are wasting a lot of time, okay? Every given time to you is a time that can give you a lot of money. The earlier you learn, the earlier you earn money. You want to earn fast, then learn very fast. Okay? So now let's move on. Another thing. Training helps you to develop good learning and listening attitude. Type it there at the comment section below, G-L-L-A, or good learning and listening attitude. Here we go again with this attitude. Why? Okay, because in business, it's so important. Especially here in our industry, we are not, you know, we are not requiring you to have a degree. We are not requiring you to be so educated, but we want you to have a good attitude. Because as you do the business, you are also learning. That is one of the perks of this company that even that as you do the business you can also learn and as you learn you're also earning a lot of money provided that you listen very well to what we are saying to you the strategies that we are sharing to you you're applying it to yourself as you do that that's the time you're getting the great or massive result okay so now i know you are good you are well educated, you're good at speaking. However, I want you to practice listening. Because in this business, what matters most is how good you are when it comes to listening. Sometimes people will say yes to your business because you know how to solve their problem. How are you going to solve their problem? Again, you need to listen to them. The problem with us is this, we are so excited. So excited that we tend to not listen to the people that we are talking to. Remember, people doesn't want to talk to people who doesn't want to listen to them. Regardless of how knowledgeable you are, regardless of how wonderful your marketing plan is, if you don't know how to listen to them, 
then my dear leaders, there's a chance, a high chance that they are not going to say yes to you. Remember in this business, what matters is not you. What matters is other people. Okay, so again, you need to listen to them if you want to get a good result, a good yes from the people that you are talking to. So now, from now on, I will start to listen. Okay, start by listening to your upline. Start by listening to trainings. Start by listening to people who have already achieved a lot in their career. And believe you me, you will be able to adopt all of that. You will be able to put that into action until such time that you create a habit out of those, uh, out of those activities that you have learned from other people. Okay, next one. How are you, Ma'am Hawa Garba? Buba from Abuja. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about this. According here, attitude is more important than skill, more important than education. We are not uh, telling you guys that skills and education is not good. My dear leaders, you need skills. You need to educate yourself. However, it's not enough because there are some people out there, they are a genius. They're so good about a lot of things. They learn a lot of things so fast. However, they're not getting the same result as our HOF, as our top one. Why? It's because their attitude is not there on what they are doing. Sometimes success, you need to be intentional. Because that particular goal in your life, that success that you've been looking for, it will not come right to you. You need to run towards that. You need to do actions in order for you to step forward every time, you know, every time you're succeeding every little inch of achievements, you really need to take action. Okay, and in order for you to improve yourself to do that, of course, you need to have the right attitude. That's the reason why here in this business or any kind or any other kind of business somehow related to this kind of industry, you need to have the right attitude. And one good thing for you to do that is for you to get rid or avoid ikta. What is ikta? I know that already attitude. This is a kind of attitude that blocks new information. And because you don't have any new information, you are not able to apply it to your everyday life. You did not improve. You remain stagnant. And that is bad. That is very bad. As they say, if, you know, if, as they say, my dear leaders, if you're not going to, you know, if you're not going to change something, nothing is going to change in your in your surroundings in the results that you are creating that is insanity if you keep doing things over and over again expecting different results so now you want to change something you must change yourself and start by avoiding or getting rid of this kind of attitude of yours which is the ikta what kind of attitude do you need to adopt very simple i want you to become just like a sponge a sponge that absorbs water i want you to absorb all of this information i am sharing to you i want you to absorb all of the teachings that your upline is giving to you it will help you that kind of attitude or mindset is the mindset of the rich people they believe that even though they don't know a certain task or a certain skill, they can learn it as long as they put the time and effort in doing so. However, people, people who are on the poor level, my dear leaders, as you can see, they have this kind of mindset that they already know that they are too busy to know it already. And in fact, they already heard these things that you've been talking about to them. Okay, and because of that, they're not learning new things. So I want you to avoid that kind of mindset. Read that kind of mindset because it will not help you to grow as a person. So what do you need to do? Have a mindset in which you are welcoming new information to grow yourself. That is what you so-called a growth mindset. Thanks a lot, ma'am. <laughs> yes, so now... These are some of the words or the mindset that rich people are using in order for them to continue having the growth mindset. So how about this one, poor people's mindset? We included this one so that you can identify or determine if you have this kind of mindset by, by being aware of what kind of mindset you have. It will be easier for you 
or it's possible for you to change that or shift that kind of mindset into a rich kind of mindset. It doesn't mean you have the fixed or poor kind of mindset. It means that will be your mindset mindset for your whole life. No, you can change that. Though it is not immediate, but as you practice it gradually, that mindset of yours, it will change. How are you going to change it? Change the words that you are saying inside of your mind. Okay? Instead of saying that life happens to me, why don't you tell yourself, I create my life. I made my own decisions. I can earn this much money. I am beautiful. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to become a multimillionaire. That is positive affirmation. By doing so, you are gradually changing your mindset into a growth kind of mindset. Okay. So now let's move on. According here, your subconscious conditioning determines your thinking. Your thinking determines your decision and your decision determines your action, which eventually determines your outcome. Now, if we're going to simplify this one, whatever it is in your mind, it can become a reality. It can become something tangible okay? that we can see, we can touch, we can feel it. Now, my dear leaders, you are attracting what you think. Now, if you want, to attract positive things to happen to you, you want good results, then you must attract it. You must start it inside of your mind because whatever your mind thinks, it will push your body to take action according to what the mind says. Okay? So let's start thinking positively and focus more on the solutions rather than focusing on problems. By doing so, it helps us not only to solve our problems, but it helps us to grow as a person. Okay, next one. How about this? How are you going to adopt this kind of attitude ASAP? Very simple. Attend a lot of trainings. How many times? How many times do you need to attend trainings? Again, five times. Not one time each of this because this is five, five kinds of training. No. Each of these trainings, you must attend five times for, me, for you to familiar yourself enough that you can at least um, share what you have understood from the trainings that you have attended. Okay. After that, you can attend more because the five times is just minimum. That is not enough for you to do presentation. Sometimes you need to watch it more than five times, sometimes 20 times, 30 times. It depends on your capability in doing presentation and understanding what you have heard and what you have seen during the, the training. So what you need to do, at least minimum of attendance of each of this presentation. Once you master this one, or at least you can present it in front of other people, you can now do the presentation to your own team. Here, you are the leader. Us, we are here to guide you, to assist you, to teach you. If you are a beginner, sometimes even if you are a leader, we are also going to make trainings for you. However, we are not always there to teach you. We are not always there to organize trainings and events. So what you're going to do, what you need to do, my dear friends, you need to Become someone that can present, that can lead, that can guide your own people so that you, your upline, together with the new members in your comp uh, in your business, will all earn the same amount of money. Okay, That is the goal of doing this. Uh, in short, all of the things that I talk about will help us to develop 100% belief in the system. So you want to have 100% belief in the system, then you must attend the trainings. Because once again, with trainings, it can help us to build our backbone. It increases our confidence. It helps us to develop the GLLA or good learning and listening attitude. And my dear leaders, with this three, it can help us to develop 100% belief in the system that no matter what other people says about us, we cannot easily give up. We cannot easily just transfer to other company because we are now knowledgeable and we are now equipped Okay, if we go to war. Doing business is just going to war. It's just like going to war as well. So if you are not going to attend this, you don't have the skills, you don't have the knowledge, then how are you going to protect yourselves against those people who already have the weapons, 
the all the all the apparatus for them to win the war. Okay? So now, if you want to win this one, you need to be equipped as well. And for you to do that, just attend a lot of trainings. Yes, ma'am. Tama po. Thank you. <laughs> we also have someone from Taiwan. How are you? Vilma Banaria. Kamusta, madam? Let me give you all a lot of... Okay, I think this one has hearts. This is a care emoji, I think. Okay, there's a lot of uh, improvement here in Facebook. So let's move on. Let's talk about the steps in attaining your dreams. Since we already know how are we going to develop, develop the belief in our systems, and at the same time, we already know the importance of training, then let's talk about what are the steps in attaining your dreams. Because just like what I've said, we have dreams in life. We have goals that we want to reach. However, it's not something that we just need to wish for. It's not something that after sleeping tomorrow, it's already there. It's not something that as you registered again, automatically you will become a multimillionaire. No. Even if you want to become a multimillionaire using the lottery, it takes a lot of time as well. It takes a lot of effort. And it takes a lot of risk, okay? Because there's a lot of doubts and fears that is going on if you're going to, you know, if you're going to put money into the lottery as well. Imagine you're going to you're going to risk investing that particular amount of money and there's 100% chance that you're not going to win. So that is something that, of course, gives us stress as well. But if you want to win, of course, you need to risk it. So same goes to this business. The only difference is that we have a system. Type it there in the comment section below, system. We have a system. You just need to follow it diligently. Then you will be able to get that income that you've been looking for. Some people are already enjoying it in different kind of, you know, aspect. Maybe car, maybe house and lot, maybe travels. Maybe it's really tangible money. But all of this, before they got it, they undergo all of the steps. So what are the steps? Number one, my dear leaders, is you. Okay. In this, uh, in this image, you can see the distance between you and your dreams. As you can see, it's very far. Okay, very far. This is this is not just one step, two step. I think this is almost a thousands of steps. If you really are going to count it, count it literally. Okay, uh, so now, what is the first step? It will start from you. You need to decide to grab the opportunity or not. Are you just going to listen, see people getting what they want, see people doing the business, and you, you are just sitting without doing nothing? Huh? Are you still going to be like that? So now, if you want to get or experience what they're experiencing right now, it will start from you. You need to decide. Because if you're not going to decide, regardless of how knowledgeable you are, regardless of, regardless of, how skillful you are, if you're not going to join or key into the business, you will not be able to enjoy the system that we have created and we have, you know, shared to our leaders for them to get to where they are right now. So again, it will start from you. You need to take your step. You need to decide. You need to key in. Okay, system, system. Very good. So now, the next, once you have decided that, okay, I will try this opportunity, I will do my best, okay, the things that I need to do in order for me to get there to my dreams. So how are you going to do that? The next step is for you to fix your attitude. Why fix? All of us has an attitude. It's just a matter of if it's a good attitude or bad attitude. Are you a person who are so egoistic that you think, that you are already so knowledgeable, that you're already so skillful, that you don't need to learn things, you have the ikka attitude, then if you have that, you don't need to worry, you just need to gradually change that kind of mindset of yours by developing or by adopting the GLLA. Listen to your upline. Listen to what we say. What we are saying to you is not trash. We are saying to you the things that we have experienced, the things that are working. This is something that is like a shortcut. We are creating a shortcut for you. 
it can be even more of a shortcut if you apply what we say and apply it to your own strategy. Because sometimes, some people, they have their own strategy that works well for them. Now, they are just putting the system that we have onto their strategy, onto their own system, so, so that they can level up much faster than other people. And you will be able to see that in other leaders, in other teams as well, not only here in Nigeria, but in other teams, in other countries as well. So now, once you have adopted the GLLA, you are able to listen very well to all of the trainings and to all of the advices of your uplines. The next thing that you're going to experience is that you're going to learn. Again, you don't you are not only going to listen, you need to learn from what you have attended. Because if you're just going to take it for granted, then again, you have wasted a lot of money because you wasted time. So learn from it. How? What are the modes of learning? Again, after, you know, after attending the trainings, you can take action, experience, whatever it is. Will it work for you or not? If it works for you, what are the things that you think you can improve? What are the things that did not work? Then you need to develop or improve that. Or maybe you can change it. That is part of learning. Learning is not just simply sitting, listening, and writing. Learning that is a process in which after you listen, you need to take action. And as you take action, even the experiences of everything that you have heard, you have felt, and you have, you know, then... You have seen all of that is also a part of learning. Now, let's say you have gathered a lot of learnings. You can now teach other people. Why is it that we need to undergo these three steps first before we can teach? I am good at speaking. I have the confidence in doing so. However, I still need to follow all of this. My dear friends, it's so important that you need to follow or you need to undergo these three steps because what are you going to teach if you don't know what you're going to say or to deliver to the people who's going to join your business? If you want to become a teacher, you need to undergo at least four to five years of teaching course so that you know what are the proper subjects and you know how to create a curriculum that will really help them to learn that particular subject or course that you want to teach them. Same goes to this business. I want them to learn prospecting. I want them to learn inviting. I want them to learn presenting. How am I going to do that if I don't have the skills, I don't have the experience, and I don't have the knowledge? I will not think. I will also apply what I've learned. As I apply to learn, I'm not only learning and I'm not only getting new information, I am also earning money. That particular result, the money, okay, regardless of how small or big it is, that is something that you've learned from your experience. And you can teach that to other people. Teach them what works. Teach them what don't work. Because by doing so, you are actually making your business much better place, okay? A much better career. If they know what works and what the, and uh, things that are not going to work, it's a shortcut for them. Another system that can make you and make the whole team earn a lot of money. Next one. Once you teach them, they will be able to duplicate what you are doing. Because as I always say, we are aging. As we age, my dear friends, there are things that we cannot always do. Sometimes even if we are young, there are a lot of tasks if we really want to earn a lot of money. So what we're going to do, we need to duplicate ourselves. How are we going to do that? We teach other people. As we teach them, they can now do what we are doing. All of the activities necessary for you to produce, produce the result in network marketing, they can also produce it as well. That is duplication and duplication can only happen if you teach them. So you uplines, you really need to take your time to teach your people. Don't just promise them. Don't just uh, let them join you after getting direct referral and matching bonus. After getting the points, then you're just going to leave them and expect them to work. No, there are some people who can just do the business without the help of other people. But most of the people, most of the members cannot do so. You really need to guide them so that they know their way towards their own success. So a lot of time for them. I'm not telling you to always be there for them. At least the first month, you should be there. You should guide them. 
And really, when it comes to guiding, you are not just going to text them. Attend trainings, attend trainings. No, they should also see you that you are also attending trainings for them to copy what you are doing. The problem with us is this. We keep on advising them to do these things, to do this, to do this kind of uh, activity. However, you yourself, you're not doing anything. Sometimes learning is something that we can copy from other people. So if you are a lazy upline, they will become lazy downlines as well. If you're a greedy downline, they can become a greedy, <laughs> a greedy upline. They're they can also become a greedy downline. So make sure to watch out how you represent yourself to other people. Because if you're not going to watch out how you present yourself to other people, then there's a tendency that that is how they're going to duplicate themselves to you. Nice one. Thank you very much, Mr. Sunday Oga. Next one, to delegate. Why do we need to delegate, my dear friends? For us to create leaders in our business. Again, the word is leader. We are earning not only small amount of money here, we're earning millions of money because we have leaders under our team. Maybe you are seeing some of our teams that inside of one team, there is top one, there is top two, there is top three, there is GA, there is MC. There's a lot of leaders out there. That is the reason why they're earning hundreds of millions of Naira, sometimes in peso. They become leaders because me, as a leader, for example, I delegated some of my tasks for them to feel responsibility as well, that they are not just a follower, that they are also a leader that leads their own people. As our network grows, you will realize that you cannot do everything. Imagine you have hundreds of people and these hundreds of people are living in different places. Do you think you can be there with them in these 100 places to where they are? No. In order for you to always, you know, to always guide them, you need some leaders, okay, that can also teach those members from different kinds of people so that even though you are from, you know, you are now in different country, doing your own business, they can still continue the business here. For example, Mr. Elias Mohozi. Mr. Elias Mohozi has a lot of top leaders, my dear friends. And the leaders that he has is not only in Uganda. He has in Kenya. He has in Mozambique. He has in Togo. He has, you know, he has in Kenya, if I'm not mistaken. Now, how is it that he was able to guide all of those people? How is it that he was able to create a lot of top one under his team? Simply because these people that he left as leaders, okay, as leaders on them as well. And those are the people that he is communicating, okay? He is communicating with to make sure that all of them are using the same system and they are in line with their goals of the team. So that is the importance of delegation. Okay, next one. Once you have uh, delegated some of your tasks and some of the responsibility, now you can now multiply faster. To be honest with you, even if you did not, uh, create a leader yet, you can now multiply. However, the multiplication is not that fast. It's because you are the only person who is doing the work. But imagine, if there's a lot of people who's doing the same thing as you are doing, it means the number of people that you can bring in your team will multiply. It's just like the concept of matching sales bonus. According to matching sales bonus, what you just need to do is at least connect two of your friends. These two of your friends, my dear leaders, can make you earn 47, 67,000, can make you earn more than that. Okay? However, if these two friends of yours brought their own two friends, even though you did not invite them, you're also going to earn money. And these two friends that they have brought, all of them will bring money. That is the term multiplication applies. And if we are really going to take it literally, that is how we grow our business in this kind of industry. Imagine if there's hundreds of you. If you, my dear friends, can bring 100 people, what more if that 100 people have 100 friends? Sometimes there's one person there 
who, who is very, you know, extroverted. They don't only have 100 friends. They have thousands of friends. And they can, you know, continuously create new friends because of their, you know, because of their good attitude, because of their cheerfulness, because they are a person that is really nice to talk to. There are people like that. What if you have a friend like that? That is how we are going to multiply in this business. And as you can see, once we grow our business, we can now say that we have a network. Okay. So now, this network, my dear leaders, will help us to earn the income. If all of you will follow the steps, you are now going to earn not only small amount of income, but big amounts of income that can reach your dreams in life. Okay. So what are the dreams? It depends on you. Because sometimes our dreams in life requires a lot of money for us to achieve. For example, we want house and lot. A house that we can give for our family. For them to stay comfortably. To have a convenient life. However, we don't have that much money in order for us to buy that kind of house. If our salary is just around 50, 70,000 naira or 12,000 pesos, 15,000, 25,000 pesos, the kind of house that we can build is just limited to the amount of income that we are earning. We can only choose, okay? We can only choose in a small, okay? In a small um, kind of options. The options of us are very limited if your income is also limited as well. But if your income is very big, my dear friends, of course, your options will become limitless as well. If you have hundreds the hundreds of millions of naira, then you have an option to have a house and lot, not just house and lot, but a mansion. Just like the mansion of Mama Grace Omizurike. Just like the mansion of our oracle, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chino. Okay, just like the mansion of some of our leaders that, they have built because of the income that they have earned here in the company. Just like the property of Mom Roslyn in Abuja. Just imagine, my dear friends, the property of Ma Mary Ann Udo. How is it that they were able to build that one? The property that they have is not just a small, small uh, house. It's a mansion, my dear friends. They were able to do that. It's because they achieved the income necessary for them to build that kind of house okay so again in order for you to achieve your dreams your goals in this business these are the steps in attaining it you're not going to skip it you cannot skip it it can be faster okay you can fasten it my dear friends however we cannot skip this we really need to undergo this because as we undergo this we improve our Selves. How are you, Ma'am Amaka? Good morning, everyone. Watching from Nigeria. Yes. So, since we already know how to attain our dreams in life, it's not just a mere dream right now. It's already a goal. Because when you say dream, my dear friends, you, you're just dreaming of it. You're not taking action in order for you to achieve it. However, if you have plans of achieving it, of reaching it, of having it, then it must be a goal. A goal is something that you can reach, that you can attain, okay? Now, that the dream can become a goal, you can now reach it by attaining, by undergoing rather all of the steps that I just mentioned to you. And steps, you can apply it in this industry, the network marketing. So what is network marketing? <laughs> because I know some of you, you have a vague idea of network marketing and most of that idea is kind of negative. It's because that is... The words, the perception of other people is giving you, especially those people was not able to join a company that is good and at the same time legal enough to teach them how to do the business. So let's talk about network marketing. What kind of industry is this? So according to books, Okay, if you're going to get the dictionary definition of what network marketing is, according here, it is a system of moving products from factory to the consumer through an organization of users, retailers, and network builders. Now, network marketing is just like traditional business. However, the difference is this. Instead of us using advertisement, 
hiring celebrities using commercials, we're not doing that to promote our business. Because if we want to give the products to people who needs them, to the consumers, we need to promote our products as well. We need to promote our business. However, we're not going to use the traditional way of advertising products. What we're going to do, we are going to use our experiences. We're going to use our mouths. We're going to use what we know okay, of the products and the system that the company is letting us enjoy. That is network marketing. And since we are only using what we know about the business, what we have experienced about the products, the income that you're going to get is not just a percentage, but a big amount of income. Most of the income will go to your pockets because it did not go through a lot of people, a lot of organization before it went to the hands of the consumers. So look at this one. A referral business that allows leveraging in order to have a residual stream of income. Let's talk about leveraging. When you say leveraging, it means, my dear leaders, we are using the help and support of other people. You are not the only one who is working. All of you are putting a certain kind of percentage of effort to the task that is given. And all of you are also earning 90 to 100% of the income out of the effort that you have put. That is leveraging. Now, because of that, because you maximize the leveraging system, you are now earning residual stream of income. It means even though you are sick, even though you are in other country, or maybe you are just simply sleeping, you are still earning money. Is that true? There are people, my dear friends, who are really are earning money even though they are sleeping. How is that? It's because they maximize the law of leveraging. Okay? It's just like normal companies. CEOs sometimes, they are there outside of the country having meetings, having gatherings. However, even though they're doing that, there are some staffs who's working for them. That is an example of leveraging. The only difference of this company, again, my dear leaders, is that we are directly promoting the business to the consumer and thus we are earning mostly of the income we are getting from what we have shared to them. Okay, so this is selling directly by word of mouth approach. Before, by telling what we have experienced, our testimonials, by sharing that to other people, we are already earning and improving in this business. However, with the advancement of the technology, we can even use these uh, technologies right now. The laptop, the tablet, the cell phone. As long as you are connected to the internet, it's either you can share them via texting, via typing, via video, video call just like this one, or streaming just like this one. I can now share not only to one or two people my experience of using these products and my experience in this kind of system to other people, not only one, to a lot of people now with the help of the technology. So look at this one. According to J. Paul Getty, I would rather earn 1% 1 of 100 people's effort than 100% of my own effort. What he, what he means in this particular quote of him is very simple. For us to earn money, there's a lot of ways. It can be through employment, self-employment, business, or investment. Most of the people, majority of the people in the world, they are earning money through self or rather employment. It means in order for them to earn money every day, they also need to go to work every day putting 100% effort in order for them to get 100% income. The problem with that is this. What if you are sick? What if you don't want to go to work? What will happen to the 200% income? Of course, it will be deducted to your salary. You're not getting paid because you did not work. The difference of network marketing and businesses is simple. Even though if you don't get to work, even though if you don't go to office, you're still earning a lot of money. Okay. So now, how are we going to do that? Let's talk about more uh, about some misconception okay, about network marketing. Is this a scam or a scheme? So these are some of the words that we are hearing from other people. Let me tell you guys, our former president, the former president of uh, USA, 
Uh, former President Donald Trump, he is an entrepreneur. He also did the business, my dear leaders. He's also an author. He has a lot of professions, career, and things that he did on his portfolio. According to him, networking, just like any other co corporation, follows the same structure. The only difference is that in the corporate world, the CEO generates income, the effort from the effort of each person below. The workers do not have the opportunity to earn as much as CEO. So if we are going to really analyze your company right now, for example, your company is earning hundreds or uh, hundreds of million, or let's say one billion in a day. That particular one billion in a day, how much income you're getting from that? Is it 10%? My dear friends, it's not even 1%. You're not getting even 1% of the daily income the company is earning every day. But it's a good thing you're still earning money. That is the common, you know, the common system of companies. You're getting paid, however, you are not getting 1%, 10%, 20% of the daily income of your company. The difference of this business to traditional business is very simple. The amount of income you're getting is not only limited to 1%. If you're the one who shared, who shared the experience, who shared the products to other people, 100% of the income will go to the pocket because here you are the CEO. It means you're getting most of the income. So let's talk about the models because some people will say what we're doing is a pyramiding scheme. Now, they uh you know, they said that this is pyramiding simply because of the structure. When it comes to the structure, my dear friends, the structure is almost the same as other organizations. For example, standard business model who is the one on top? It's the CEO. After the CEO, maybe directors, maybe managers. It depends. Next, ground staff. So what is the structure? It's the same. It's just like a pyramid or a triangle. Next one, how about in government? Monarchy. Okay. Who's the one at the top? Prime minister. After prime minister, according here, it's cabinet. After the cabinet, the parliament. Government republic, just like Philippines. The one at the top is president. After that, executives. And after is the congress. How about the network marketing? Who's the one at the top? You. Why? You are the CEO. We are only here, my dear friends, to share the system and to teach you. Next one, the front lines. These are the person who you directly invited to the business. And last but not the least, your downlines. Your downlines. Okay. They are part of your business. So as you can see, when it comes to business, it's just the same structure. It's just the same structure. So you don't need to worry. And to give more idea of the differences, uh, different, you know, areas, careers as well, and professions, let me share this to you. Why network marketing? And among all of the ways of earning or the professions that we can go for us to earn money, what are the differences? First, of course, is employment. When it comes to employment, we still need the capital because we are not going to be employed if we don't have the skills and we don't have the knowledge. Sometimes the skills and knowledge and sometimes diploma is not enough. You need experience, okay? which is rather surreal. Rather surreal, it's because if you are just a new graduate, how are you going to get an experience if no one is going to hire you? Okay, so now let's solve first the skills and the knowledge. How are you going to get that? Very simple. You need to study for how many years? 16 years. It depends on what course you're going to get. Once you graduated on that particular course, my dear friends, you can now look for a job. Now, before you get that job, for you to be enrolled, you need to have a capital money. How much money? It depends. If you want to be enrolled in a public school, of course, it's much cheaper, especially if you're a scholar. But if you want to be enrolled in a private school, then be ready. Okay, You need to pay a bigger amount of tuition fee. Eh, as long as you believe that particular school will help you to become good at that particular profession after you graduate, then do so. Okay, but you need to be mindful that you need to pay your tuition fee and that is your capital in order for you to be hired in the future. Next one, traditional business, of course, for you to start your business, definitely you need to also have capital. How big? It depends on what kind of business you're going to start. So for example, you want to start a business, a restaurant business. How much will it be? 
Is it 100,000 pesos or 1 million naira? Do you need 100 million? It depends. Once again, the profit, it can be higher as well. Again, it can be higher as well. Later on, we're going to talk about why it can be. Why is it not? Why is it that it cannot give me 100% assuredness okay, that I'm really going to get a high profit? Let's talk about it later on. But for now, let's talk about network marketing. The capital here, how much? It's just very cheap. For example, 49,990, 79,990. How much you're going to earn? 168,800 naira. You're also going to earn 210,000 naira on a daily basis. You can even earn 7 million, 15 million, 20 million and above. That is your gross per month. So imagine you've started a business at a price of 49 or 79,000 naira. And at the same time, by the end of the month, if you just follow the system, you're going to have a gross per month of 5 million, 6 million, and 7 million. And that is only the potential income. It can increase. So how about overhead expenses when it comes to employment? My dear friends, of course, even though you are studying and you are just in the process of, you know, learning the craft of how to become a good doctor, good engineer, or whatever kind of course you have to, you still need to eat. Thus, you need to pay for your bills. There should be a budget for your transportation, a budget for your food. Your drinks, my dear friends, and other miscellaneous fees. Because sometimes, as you study, you need to have money, okay, money, ego, or pera, uh, for you to you know to do that particular project or to buy all of the necessary materials to do the project. Next one, traditional business, of course. Aside from the normal things we need to do to survive and have a convenient life, we also need to pay for the office rental. Especially if the place is not yours, you need to pay for that. If you want it to be yours, of course, you need to buy for the house, uh, for the lot as well, and for the building, the office of yours. You need to assign money for that. Next one, you need staffs because you're talking about business. Thus, you need people that will help you run the business. Even though you have people, you need to be there as well. Because the first years of doing the business, you need to check out first the things that needs to be checked. Not all people that you are going to hire is trustworthy. Sometimes, even if you're going to hire your relatives, believe you me, your relatives, my dear friends, is not serious as you. They're not going to do what they supposed to do. And sometimes they are the cause of wahala or problem in your business. So that's the reason why you should be there. You need to guide them. You need to teach them the proper ways in order for your business to thrive. Next one. And again, you need to pay them <laughs> because they're not that just, they're not going to simply work there without paying. Sometimes even if they're not professional, you need to pay them for the time that they have invested to help you. Next one, office supplies. What are they going to work for if they don't have the office supplies to do all of the necessary things? You need to have a uh, paper, the pen, computer, electric bill for that. That is a separate bill for your house bill. So just imagine the amount of uh, budget that you need to allot aside from the budget that you have allotted for the capital. Next one. Uh, how about network marketing? It's just the same, my dear friends, overhead expenses for employment. Because, of course, we still need to travel, okay, if we're going to the office or if we have meetings. So, you need to prepare for that. Aside from transportation, if you have car, definitely, then you need to have a budget for your food. But there's a lot of ways, my dear leaders, in order for you to save money when it comes to that. Next, food expenses. We need to eat. <laughs> After that, we also need to pay our bills. So that is just the overhead expenses in network marketing. How about this one? Risk factor when it comes to employment. Let me tell you guys, when it comes to employment, it's stable. Why? Because every month, imagine you're going to be paid. You're going to be paid, my dear leaders. That is a sure thing. As long as you go to the office, you're going to be paid. The problem is, of course, is very limited. Even if the company is earning 100 billion, 100 billion naira, my dear friends, if you are just, you know, you are just a uh, staff there that has signed a certain contract, whatever it is, the amount of income you're getting from the contract, that is the amount of salary you're going to get. 
even after five years, unless otherwise you got promoted. But the amount of income you're going to enjoy as an increase is not that much, maybe 10%. 10% increase of your salary, not 10% of percentage from the income of the company. So that is the problem when it comes to employment. And of course, your income will depend on the profession that you have. So expect, my dear friends, that the salary of engineer, architect, um, doctor is much higher. It's because what they're doing is much more taxing and much more stressful. It's very important that their focus is there. Imagine. Um, they are in charge of the life of other people. That's the reason why, my dear leaders, that their income is very high as well. Very high. However, even though the salary is kind of high, kind of high, okay, sometimes high, sometimes just enough. Okay. Uh, it's because of the time that they are, you know, they are putting in their own work. So next to that, how about this traditional business? In traditional business, believe you me, if you become successful, if you become successful, it's good. However, the risk is very high because there's a tendency that you will not get any result. You will not be able to get the capital that you have invested in it. It's because the business flops, okay? It happens sometimes. And actually, it's not sometimes. If you are not really familiar with the industry, or the business that you are doing, unfortunately, there's a tendency that it will really not work. Okay, maybe after one year or two years, it will just close down. That is the risk of traditional business. So make sure if you are planning to have traditional business, you really will study the craft of that particular business. You're going to study the market of that particular business that you are going to do. For example, you want to do business around food and beverages industry. Make sure before you start, you're going to study that very well. If you want to, you know, if you want to have a business other than that, then study that. Okay? Study not only how to do the business, but even the risk. Because again, if you are not going to do that, then the risk, aside from the risk, is very high. There's a tendency again that it will not work. You just wasted a lot of money. Then what we can only get there is the learnings that we got from the flop or the failure that you know that we have experienced Okay, after closing down or after the bankruptcy. So that is the sad reality when it comes through traditional business. But again, if you become successful, then that's a good thing. Congratulations, because you are going to get a lot of profit. Next one, network marketing. Of course, the risk is very low. Imagine the amount of the amount of investment or capital that you need to pay is only forty nine thousand eight hundred ninety or seventy nine thousand eight hundred ninety. It depends. Okay, and the income that you're going to get is around millions of naira. How about employment? Your skills, of course, you must have skills. It depends on the profession you're going to get. If you want to be a doctor, of course, you need to have medicine skills. If you want to become a nurse, just like me, you need to have nursing skills. How about this one? Traditional business, you need to have business skills. If you don't have the skills, how are you going to perform the business if you're an employee, my dear friends, how are you going to become a good employee if you don't have skills? No, no one is going to, you know, no one is going to hire you if you don't have the skills necessary for a certain position. Okay? So be reminded that in order for you to be hired, you need to have certain skills. Next one, in network marketing, what's important here again is attitude. Okay, as long as you have the right attitude, you will be able to learn skills necessary for you to catapult yourself to the business. How about time when it comes to employment? In employment, you can work 8, 12 hours. It depends. It depends on your work. In nurses, it can be 8 hours. It can be 12 hours. It can be 24 or 48 hours straight. Okay, it depends on the on the need of the nurses because sometimes the number of nurses is not enough or is not somehow equivalent to the ratio of the number of on the number of patients in the hospital or inside the ward so sometimes you really need to you know do your ot or overtime in order for you to help the hospital and your other colleagues as well so now whenever you work of course you're going to be paid however the problem again if you're not going to work then Definitely, you're not going to get that from your salary. It will be deducted. 
As for the traditional business, at first, first year, no work, no pay. You need to be there. Because sometimes, in the first years of your business, the one who is really working there is you. And the other people, they are just following you. And sometimes, they are just observing what you are doing. Once they already get the hang of it, that's the only time they can help you. But you still need to be there. That's why, at first years, you need to you know to work for you to get paid okay because if you did not you are not going to get money or income out of that next one when it comes to network marketing when it comes to time it depends on you we have time freedom here if you want to do the business in the morning it's okay if you want to do it in the evening <laughs> it's okay if you want to do it around 12 a.m in the morning it's okay as well so as long as what's important is that you have the right attitude and you put a lot of focus on what you need to do that is uh that is in line with the business next one probability to achieve one's dream of course in employment it's possible but it's slow because of the limited amount of salary you're getting how about in traditional business? Traditional business, it's relative to the success of the business. If it becomes successful, the profit is high. If it's not successful, my dear friends, there's a tendency, the profit is low, or the business will just simply close down. Next, network marketing, the probability of one success is high. Why? It's because the system is already there. You just need to follow it. And you will be able to get the success or the amount of income that you are wishing for. So now, let's talk about more uh, about the legitimacy of network marketing. Did you know that network marketing exists in the United States for over 50 years? So this one is already you know, older than us. <laughs> Actually, it's not 50 years if I'm not mistaken. If I'm going to count it, it's around 57 to 58 years already. So as you can see, MLM business strategy was considered legitimate already in the business uh, in the U.S. around 1976. So in other words, this business is legitimate already okay it's already known not only in u.s but in other countries as well so did you know okay did you know my dear leaders in 1999 this particular curriculum or units was introduced in ateneo de manila in this particular year three units of network marketing next one um, a special course was also created in AIM, something about that, Asian Institute of Management. So if you want to learn more about network marketing, you can also uh, get a course or enroll in a course in AIM in order for you to know more about this business. But what's so good about this? It just means that this is in a school. It means this is very legitimate. A school will not put it in their courses if the business is not a legitimate kind of business. And of course, in US of A, there's a lot of university that offers network marketing, such as University of Illinois and University of Houston. Okay, so that's how wonderful our industry is. So again, if you are still questioning the legitimacy and how wonderful this industry is, then these are just some of the information that, that can prove that this business is a wonderful kind of business. So the question is, there's a lot of companies out there in this industry or under this industry. Why choose our company? Okay, it's because, my dear leaders, our company is not only offering a system that can make you earn a lot of money, but we have products that has a lot of testimonies that, that has done a lot of good to other people in different parts of the globe. And at the same time, our compensation plan is really working and we have already created 17,000 plus self-made multi-millionaire. Now, let's talk about how great our company, Alliance in Motion Global, in global, and right now we're having a program known as Edplan 3.0. So this is just very short, my dear friends. Just, <clears throat> excuse me, just give me a few minutes of your time and I will talk about the good things about our company. What makes us number one? Number one, of course, you can apply the law of leverages. It means, my dear friends, as we apply this kind of law, 
we are all working a certain amount of effort. And that particular effort, my dear friends, is being paid. Even though some of us will not be there, the income will still flow. There's still cash flow. And this cash flow can make us earn a residual income. That is our goal for you to earn residually that even though you're sleeping, even though you're traveling or having vacation, you're still earning the amounts of money that can make you live comfortably. Next one, you can be your own boss. You are the boss here. You are the CEO. We from the management are just here to teach you. We are just teaching you, sharing to you our system. But you are still the CEO of your own team. Okay? And you will be the one to guide them as well. You will be the one to also share your strategy from our system. Okay? From our system, maximizing it. All of you are benefiting from it. Okay. Next one, portable business. This is a kind of business that even though you migrate to other country, as long as you have the devices, such as what I'm using right now, the cell phone and the laptop, um, desktop, my dear friends, and tablet, you will be able to do the business. Just connect it with the internet. And this is one of our advantages, especially during the lockdown. During the lockdown, there's a lot of people who cannot go to their job not only for one month. Some countries do this lockdown for so many months. Now, how is it that our people and members of the company was able to earn millions of money even though they're just staying in our house? It's because this is a portable business as well. Next one, family business. What does it mean? It means, my dear friends, this is a kind of activity in which you can also share it with your family members. And that's the reason why there are some leaders and members here at a very young age, they are already part of the Millionaire Circle member. What did their parents do? They put the names of their children. Then after, you know, after working here, following the system, the amount of money increases. So even if the children, my dear leaders, did not work, they are also earning money. Okay? Out of the system and out of the hard work and strategy that their parents have used in their own system. Okay? So, this is also a family business. So, imagine at an age of 18 years old, your children now is already a multi-millionaire. Next one, this is a helping business. What does it mean? We became successful not only because of the products, because to be honest with you, when it comes to products, our products is really great, okay? And we were able to become a, an international company because of the awards that the products have created. However, the reason for our success is because we are helping the people who helps us and needs it the most. So for example, in the Philippines, whenever there are certain kind of of natural disaster that affects the lives of a lot of people. We are having charity. We're giving donations, my dear friends. And sometimes you will be able to see that on our page, the Alliance in Motion Global in Facebook as well. You can check out the Alive Foundation. Whenever the chairman of the Alive Foundation is here in Africa as well, he's doing some charity and donations as well. Okay? So, now, that is how we help other people. And aside from helping them, okay, but the, helping them in a sense that we are giving them food, we're giving them, you know, we're giving them school supplies and other things that they need in order for them to, you know, to overcome, overcome the effects of the natural disasters or whatever it is that they have experienced, my dear friends. We're also helping in a form of teaching them by sharing our system, by sharing what we know and experience to the people who wants to also become successful just like us. So another thing, we are also a proud member of MLMIA. This is an organization in which legitimate organizations and network marketing companies are part with. So now, if you are a person who's doing a business in a certain kind of company just like us, then you need to check if your company is part of MLMIA. Because good news, our company, Alliance in Motion Global, or Edplan 3.0, is having or 
Uh, M Plan 3.0 is part of MLMIA since even before I became part of this business. Next one. We belong to the top 1,000 highest tax-paying companies in the Philippines. It means we are paying our taxes. Not only in the Philippines, but in other countries as well, such as here in Nigeria. We make sure that we are paying our taxes on time. Because if we don't pay our taxes, it will become a big problem to the leaders of the company. So we don't want that. Okay, we don't want that one. So we make sure that we are paying our taxes. Okay, next one. Awarded as Asia's most outstanding direct sales company. Actually, it's not only Asia, but you can check the businessforhome.org because for five consecutive years, we were awarded as a top direct selling company in the whole world since 2015. Next one. Its product was acknowledged as Asia's most outstanding food supplement. It's not only Asia's most, but we have a lot of international awards that was given to the products of the company. And because of the success that we have gathered, because of, of course, you guys help us because of the leadership of our of our board of directors, the VPs and the training team, we were able to expand to these countries first. Okay, these are not the only countries to where we have branches. Actually, we have branches a lot, uh, a lot of branches in other countries. Now we have a branch first in Singapore, Brunei, Taiwan, Hawaii, in Dubai, in Nigeria. Here in Nigeria, we have eight branches already. The one that I always mention during the Ed Plan 3.0. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Ogochi. Now, these are some of the awards that we have gotten. The Consumer's Choice Award, my dear friends. The Asian Star Brand. We are also recognized, uh, recognized and was given an award. Asian, Asian Business and Marketing Quality Awards, imagine. Global Awards, my dear friends. Philippine Marketing Awards. Consumer's Choice Awards, the Elevate. And, of course, we were, you know, we were also recognized by BIR in the Philippines because we are paying our taxes. <laughs> okay. Next one. Whenever we have our events, it's always jam pack. And I know you have experienced it already, especially our anniversaries, our GNMC event, okay, our gala events, and even our branches, anniversaries, my dear friends, kick off training. Uh, what's this? Um year and training all of that is jump pack okay these are just example of the events that we have okay this uh these events my dear friends are all members and leaders of the company so that's how many we are next one so these are just some of the awards that we have gotten for example our c247 was awarded last 2013 as a number one not nutraceutical sorry about that food supplement next one Number one, Global MLM Direct Sales Company in 2013. This is Consumer's Choice. And number one, Healthy Coffee last 2013. So that is Liven Alkaline Coffee. So even Guinness Book of World Records recognize us. It's because we were able to achieve this, the largest human smiley with 8,080 people. This big smiley, my dear friends, is made up of the members of the company who are only present during that particular day that is not the number of people we have so imagine during this event we were able to achieve this it's because of the 8000 people who participated for the largest human smiley and we were given this particular plaque uh, by guinness book of world records next one most people wearing a smiley mask the number of people who have attended this event is 30050 this is our anniversary, the ninth anniversary there in the Philippines. I was also there at the side. <laughs> okay, I'm not part of that uh, picture, but in the side, I am there wearing the smiley and I'm also part of the 30,050. Okay, that is only inside of that particular venue, not including those people of the outside eating. <laughs> okay, this is the Philippine arena. And because of that, we were able to get rewarded and recognized by Guinness Book of World Records. Next one, the products. These are the good products of the company. Products that can make you healthy and prevent a lot of diseases. C24-7, Vidamax, Colidus, Complete, Liven, My Choco, Restore Life. <laughs> Aside from that, okay, sorry about that. Now, 
What makes us number one, of course, because of our stability. Why is it that we're so stable? Because of the company's products. The products are so good that the reorders just keep on moving. Okay? So how, how big is a reorder? It's very big, my dear friends. Very big to the point that it's uh, whenever there are products, uh, products that came here in Nigeria, after just a few days, it's finished. Okay? That's just how fast it is. Why is it so fast? It's because people love it and they are feeling the goodness and the benefits that is brought about by the products and that's the reason why we are so stable next one we're implementing the npp whenever we have new products we are promoting it and as we promote it my dear leaders and as people use the products did you know that it accumulates points as well points that can make people get promoted to uh, higher positions and as they get higher positions more income will come okay next one safety net now the safety net my dear leaders is applicable to our matching sales bonus under binary platform why because we want our leaders to enjoy the business in the long run not just in a matter of one year or two years, but a business that can run for decades. That's the reason why we were able to do the business for 17 long years. Here in Nigeria, it's 11 years. So what is the safety net? We have two cycle. Every cycle will give you 12 pairs per cycle. So if we are going to compute that, you are getting 24 matching sales every blessed day. And every 9th and 10th pair rewards, you are getting GC. What GC are we giving you? Products, travel GC, and the travel GC, you can convert it into PGI. My dear friends, this number of matching that you're getting in every safety net can increase. It depends on your performance. So for example, you were able to reach the two personal points, the 12 pairs, it will increase to 15. So it means your uh, pairs per day is 30 matching sales. As you reach the 300 first pair, the 30, it will become 36. That is 18, 18 per cycle. So as you can see, as you do the business, the amount of income you're getting also increases and the safety net, it becomes longer or wide as well compared if you are just starting the business, okay? So now, next one, we have a staple company heads and leaders with integrity. Look at this one, the system. What comprise our system? Of course, we have a good management. The management, my dear friends, is... Composed of people that has experience when it comes to MLM business. They are not just someone who did business for them to earn money. They are also network marketers before they become part or before they have this company, Alliance in Motion Global. Our CEO, our CMO, our CFO, our vice president and training team, all of them are network marketers. And because of that, they know what works and what not work. Okay, they were able to create a system that works for a lot of people. Next one, we're able to expand. In the Philippines, we have 200 DCO and adding up. Here in Nigeria, we have eight. In Ghana, if I'm not mistaken, we have two. In Uganda, we have two as well. And other countries. So the other countries, my dear friends, I cannot count them <laughs> anymore because... As you can see, as time goes by, the number of our branches also increases as well. Okay, payout system, of course, we have daily payout. There in the Philippines, I believe, it's just a matter of few seconds or minutes. In just around five minutes or one minute, if I'm not mistaken, you're getting your payout. But here in Nigeria, we have daily payout. So for example, you earn your, your 20 close naira because of direct referral bonus and reverse package, my dear leaders. You can just simply in cash it, wait for 24 hours or one day only. Again, it's only one day. And you can now withdraw that money so that you can enjoy the money that you have worked for. And that's it for me, my dear leaders. That is the part one only of your ASAP, your Alliance Success Achievement Program. I hope I was able to give justice to this particular training and you have learned the importance of training itself. This training is not only, you know, is not only for me to say to you that this ASAP is important. No, this is just the training that will help you understand why is it that your offline is telling you to attend trainings just like med plan or opp just like ndo just like leadership training you need to attend that 
you need to wash it over and over again. That is one advantage we are getting out of this advancement we are getting every year. Because of online, because of new applications, videos just like this is being recorded to their application and you can watch it over and over and over again. So now take advantage of it. Because before, we don't have this kind of technology in which it's really easy for us to watch a certain kind of training. Now, with this kind of innovations, my dear leaders, we were able to maximize it and we can learn much faster than in the past. So now, my dear leaders, we have talked about how to attain your dreams. Make sure you're going to undergo the process. I don't want you to become an instant multimillionaire without even knowing how to earn the money, how to save the money, how are you going to use that money and how to multiply that money. It's because if you became that kind of person who become you know, who became a millionaire instantly, there's a tendency that money will disappear in just a matter of weeks or months because you don't know how to handle your own money. There's a lot of, you know, stories like that. Okay, they won the lottery, even though they still, you know, put effort in, you know, in doing the lottery. However, because they don't have the knowledge and how are they going to handle their finances in just a matter of a month, it's already finished. Some, some people, they ask for the help of other people without even knowing that particular person who helped them is just taking advantage of them. And what happened next is, you know, so now we don't want you to experience that. That's the reason why please undergo the process so that you know how the money is being made, how you're going to manage it, how to use it, and how you're going to multiply it more for your own benefit. So now, thank you very much. And I hope that you've learned. After this, please use the information that you have heard from this training to improve your so, so before I go, let me recognize a lot of you guys who keeps on commenting me there at the comment section below, such as Mr. Sandy Oga, Ma'am Amaka, Ma'am Grace, Ma'am Vilma, Ma'am Ugochi, and I appreciate you guys. Let me give you a lot of hearts. Okay, so see you all on our next training. Probably by next week, let's talk about the Digiverse, the Megaverse presentation. Let's talk about the technical training and let's talk about our product presentation. So see you all there. See you all there in the office. And I hope that I hope that the next person that we're going to recognize on our next big event is no other than you who are watching and listening in this video. So see you and have a nice day.